In this video, we're going to look at the assignment operator. And the assignment operator looks a lot like an equal sign. But there is a difference in what the equal sign does versus what an assignment operator does. All the assignment operator is doing is taking what is on the right side of the equation and assigning it into the variable on the left side. It is not checking to see whether variable 1 is equivalent to what is on the right side of the program, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's actually taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and assigning it into variable 1. On the second line, 987.654 is being assigned into variable 2, and then false is being assigned into variable 3. Again, it is not checking for equality. In this next program example, what I've done is created a representation of memory at the bottom of the program. And so what we're going to do is have an integer value called num1, and num1 is going to be assigned to one of these slots inside of my memory. Now nothing is currently stored in num1 because we're going to assign it in the next programming statement. And so we take 5 and assign it into num1. And now when we print out num1, we're going to look in memory and find that there is a 5 there. In this next example, we start again with a memory slot of an integer value called num1. We're going to assign it to 5 and then print it out. And then on the next line, we're going to assign it to 8. You notice that the 5 is taken out and the 8 now supplants the 5. So 5 is completely gone from memory. And now when we print what is in memory at num1, we get 8 instead of 5. In this programming example, what I've done is I've assigned all the different primitive data types to different variables. And I've also assigned hello world to string 1. So you can see the assignment operator on display here. And I also want to say it's good practice to what's called initialize variables, or when you create a variable, start it with a startup value. And even if you don't know what that value is going to be, you can always use default values like zeros or an empty space or false or for a string, just double quotes with nothing inside of them. In talking about assigning values into variables, I wanted to take a side moment to talk about what these values are called. Anytime you have a value that represents what it actually is, it's going to be called a literal. And there's different types of literals inside of programming. The first type here that are in purple are called numeric literals. The second type is a character literal, anything that's going to be enclosed by a single quote. A Boolean literal, true or false and a string literal like hello world. And you can recognize a string literal by the value being enclosed by double quotes. So anytime you have a value that represents itself, it's going to be called a literal in programming. This isn't just for assignment, but also anytime you see them in the program, know that they are called literals. I wanted to show a common programming mistake with the assignment statement and literals. You'll see that I'm assigning 5 to num1. When I print out the first time num1, I'm looking for that variable and printing it out. A common mistake is to put double quotes around it, and that's going to literally print what is there, and that is a string literal, not a variable, and that will not print 5. That will actually print what's inside the quotes, num1. In this video, I've shown how to assign literals to variables. And there's actually more than one way that you can do this. On the screen right now, I have 5 being assigned to num1. And I've done it with a one-step process. If I were to print it out right now, I would get 5. I can also do this with a multi-step process. I can just assign a variable, num1, to an integer data type. But if I tried to print it out right now, it would produce an error because I have not assigned it a value. So now what I've done is I've not only said num1 is of the data type int, on the next line or in this multi-step process, I have assigned it to 5. And now when I print it out, it would give me 5 again. In this example, I've shown how you can make multiple assignments on one line. And I'm not assigning anything yet. I'm just saying num1, num2, and num3 are of the data type int. And notice that you don't have to repeat int each time. 
And then on the next line, I can assign num1 to num2 to num3, and they can all be assigned to 5. So remember, assignment works from right to left. 5 would be assigned to num3, num3, which is 5, would be assigned to num2, num2 would be assigned to num1, and now when you print it out, you would get 555. Five, five. You can do this with all data types. In this next example, I've added all of it into one statement. I have int num1, num2, and num3, and I've also assigned them to different values, num1 being 5, num2 being 6, and num3 being 7. This is also legitimate syntax within Java, and it would print out 567. The assignment operator's purpose is to assign a value to a memory location. Now that does not mean that that memory location is permanently going to be the value that we assign it there. As we've shown, you can change the value that goes inside of that particular memory location. Assignment happens from right to left, Whatever is on the right side of the assignment operator is going to be assigned into the left. It will never be the other way around. Variables should be given default values, and this process is called initialization, or to initialize variables. Whenever writing a program, you should always give it a starting value so the program has some place to go with the variable. We showed you what literals are, and literals are a value written exactly as it's meant to be interpreted. 123 or 123.456 one, are both numeric literals. Any symbol that's enclosed by a single quote is a character literal, and anything that is enclosed with double quotes is called a string literal. And oftentimes, these are what are assigned into variables using the assignment operator. And lastly, variables can be assigned on one or multiple lines. You can just say, I have an integer data type, and its name is going to be x. And then on the next line, you can give x a value. Or you can do something like int x equals 5, all on the same line. The assignment operator does not check for equality, and its purpose is to assign a value into memory.